I'm going to give you the four best ways to get new personal training clients. And this isn't what you usually see out in social media or what the PT schools are trying to show you. This is what's working on a day by day scale, as this is what I'm showing personal trainers and coaches to use around the world to grow their fitness businesses. And I want you to use it because you're here for one reason. What you've been trying to use hasn't worked. So now it's actually trying to step away from those scammy tactics that so many people are trying to tell you to use. This is about what's using to naturally bring on clients and sign on the clients that you want and charge the rate that you're worth to build the business that gives you what you really want. I'm Chris Dufay, a fitness business specialist, which means I get you clients, grow your following, and help you build the business that gives you the money, freedom, and lifestyle that you want. Plus, I'm in the trenches with you. I'm running three online fitness businesses and show coaches and trainers around the world how to do the same. When you boil it down, growing your fitness business comes to one thing. Can you bring on new clients over the long term? This isn't about having a mad spark or using some scammy tactic that's going to bring on clients only for the very short term, ending up really leaving you in the same position of not knowing what to do and having consistent growth. This is about creating a business that gives you the security so you have a constant flow of money and income coming to you and you're not having to stress about it. A great example of this is Aaron that just signed on to the Pro Circle. Now Aaron's running a great personal training business but wanted a lot more and especially started to want to grow an online fitness business to really scale and give him that freedom factor. Now just from our first call we're out of pinpoint and really easy execution plan for something he could bring on face to face clients which effectively in just a matter of weeks means he's having to build and bring on two to three new trainers to work for him. Now actually I know this is a complete anomaly and this is really an outside field, but he was able to pick up an extra $200,000 of personal training clientele, signed and sealed, ready to be delivered over the next year. But the best thing of all, creating that system, he was able to use the exact same process to then sign on another $240,000 of personal training in the next year as well. Imagine what you could do with a $440,000 extra of personal training clientele. Now, just like I said before, I know this is an anomaly this is an outside perspective and this isn't the usual but this is what can and should be happening and what you should be striving for so firstly what you do have to be doing is you have to give you have to give value and you have to give a lot and you have to give to the exact specific people that you want to be working with and you have to be helping them with what they need a conversation that I've had with so many coaches and trainers is that the fitness industry, especially the online fitness industry, is saturated. Now true, saturated is a word that I will describe it, but it is not competitive. Competitive and saturated are completely different. It is not competitive because you can easily and clearly stand head and shoulders above of your competition by giving and giving the right value, stepping up and really going above and beyond. Just like in his great book, Gary Vaynerchuk in Jab, 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 Right Hook clearly demonstrated and showed multiple times how giving great quality content numerous times and really over delivering was such an easy strategy to be able to use to give what your clients need, to give you the perspective, to give you the authority. And then when you do ask, then they're going to be happily coming on board because we all hate those douchebags that just want to give out the sales pitches. They're always trying to promote their own things and they're never really helping people. This is what you need to avoid. An easy way to put this into your business right now is an 80-20 rule with your social media posts. So 80% of your social media posts are going to be great quality content, great value helping the people that you want to help. Then the other 20% be very happily promoting and getting people on board your programs, your services and your products. This is an easy way where you can look at how many posts you're writing. If you're writing 20 posts, then four of those posts are going to be promotional where you can happily step up and really sell and don't be afraid of that selling word because when you're doing it from a place of value that other 80% you're really giving away you should be happily putting forward that extra piece because if you really do believe in what you have if you really do believe that what you have is going to get people the results that they want then taking that next step and parting with their money is right for them. And in an upcoming episode, we're going to be covering content marketing, especially for the online fitness world. So hit subscribe so you don't miss out on that episode. 
Now there's a basic equation that I've talked about in many presentations, many episodes, and that is to build your business, there can be two factors that you really look at. One, you have to get great results with your clients, with your products, with your programs. And two, you have to let everyone know about it. So really, I know and I really hope that you being here with me right now, you're skilled at what you do. You're a skilled coach, you're a skilled trainer, you're a skilled practitioner, and you can get results. So really what we have to do is add the systems, add the jet fuel to you being able to grow your following and how do you grow that following and turn them into your customers and clients. So you have to produce great quality content, you have to get it out there, and you have to showcase the results that you're getting, the testimonials, the social proof of it all. Then thirdly, you have to actually get that message in front of the right people. This is when I talk about the message market media match. Do you have the right message? Are you getting that in front of the right market and are you using the right medium that matches that market as well? Now the fourth point to make is you have to make this a system and an engine. You have to have an editorial calendar when you actually are producing your content. You have to have a schedule in which you are going to be producing, publishing, showcasing, and getting your message out into the world. Because if you think you're going to ad hoc it, it's not going to work. Because all too often when trainers and coaches join the pro circle, one of the biggest things we jump into straight away is getting clarity on what the business model has to be, what they actually have to be executing on a day by day scale. And that's what I wanna put forward to you. Do you really know what you need to be doing day by day? Because if you don't, then that is what you need to work on right now. So if you want the next steps, if you want to actually grow your online fitness business, the free coaching that extends onto everything that I can't fit in this episode, plus so much more, click the link below to get a part of that. Then I want to make sure you subscribe because the upcoming episodes are going to go in depth into the strategies and tactics to help you grow your online fitness business. So I look forward to seeing you soon.